GSF. We got a problem. Nobody has dominated the last two years in the regular season more than the Milwaukee Bucks. At one point in February of last season, they were on track to have one of the best regular seasons in NBA history. They had a point differential of plus 12.4, which would have been the highest ever. But their less than stellar play in the bubble knocked it down to a plus 10. They had a chance to have back-to-back 60-win -back seasons, but because of the pandemic, no team played all 82 games. The Bucks had a top 10 offense and the best defense in the league. And they were once again led by the former 15th overall pick of 2013, Giannis Antetokounmpo. The 26-year-old becomes the third player in league history to win league MVP and defensive player of the year in the same season, joining only Michael Jordan and Hakeem Olajuwon. Giannis' stats last season were unreal. His averages of 29.5 points, 13.6 rebounds, and 5.6 assists per game were numbers that had never been posted for a whole season. Obviously, there have been players in history who had the points and rebound averages, but not with the assist numbers. And the crazy thing about all this is he only played 30 minutes per game, which was 71st in the league. Giannis becomes the 14th player to win multiple MVP trophies and the second international player in that club. And he did all this before his 26th birthday. Not too many players in the game have had the kind of success and accolades in the regular season for two straight years as Giannis did. But comparing Giannis and the Bucks' regular season and playoff performances is like night and day. You would think with the kind of success this team had in the regular season that they would have definitely made at least one NBA Finals appearance. After winning 60 games in 2018-19, the Bucks made it to the Conference Finals and was actually up 2-0 in the series against the Raptors but ended up losing four straight games. And last season was even more disappointing as they never even got to the conference finals. Success in the regular season means nothing if you can't win in the postseason. As good as Giannis is, he still has some major flaws in his game. His outside shooting and not having a go-to move are the two things that have held them back in the playoffs. Not only does his shooting from the field needs to get better, but also his free throw shooting. He shot a respectable 72% in 2018-19, but he shot only 63% last season. Over the last two years in the regular season and the playoffs, when Giannis shoots at least 70% from the free throw line, the Bucks have a record of 61-8, including a 9-0 record in the playoffs. One of the biggest storylines in the NBA right now is will Giannis sign an extension before the deadline on December 21st, or will he pass on it and have his free agency hang over him and the franchise for the whole season. It will be an ongoing conversation on if he will stay in Milwaukee or sign with another team next summer if he doesn't sign it. The Bucks had to make a move to prove to their franchise player that they're willing to do whatever they can to put him in the best position to bring a championship to the city of Milwaukee. For a moment, it looked like they were on track to have two big upgrades this offseason. But unfortunately, one of them fell through but they were able to swing a trade for one of the best two-way guards in the league, Drew Holiday. Holiday has been a model of consistency on defense and offense for most of his career. He gives the same level of defense as Bledsoe gave you, but he has so much more production on offense. Bledsoe was an offensive liability for the Bucks in the playoffs in the last two years. Holiday is a better scorer and more importantly is a better outside shooter. And Holiday is also a better playmaker as he has averaged around 6.5 assists for his career. Although he is an upgrade, the Bucks definitely paid a steep price to get him. Three first round picks with the ability to swap first rounders twice. But if Holiday is part of the reason why Giannis stays with the Bucks, then it'll be all worth it. But if he doesn't, this will be a complete disaster for the franchise moving forward. Chris Middleton might not be a household name in the league, but he had another all-star level season last year. His sweet outside shot of defense has been very important for this Bucks team. Taking it to the rim really isn't part of his game. He gets most of his buckets from three-point territory in the mid-range. He's probably one of the best shooters from mid-range in the game today. 
He has improved his offense in the last couple of years and can now easily get his own shot. His performance in Game 4 against the Miami Heat without Giannis kept the Bucks from getting swept out of the playoffs in the second round. That would have been even more embarrassing for this team. Brooke Lopez had another stellar year on both ends. Lopez and Giannis were one of the best shot blocking duos in the league, which helped the Bucks rank number one in defensive rating. The Bucks made some other additions to the team with Bobby Portis, Brent Forbes, Torrey Craig, and DJ Augustin. But it's hard to know if these acquisitions will make their bench better than last year's team. Augustin is just as good as George Hill is on offense, but Hill is a much better defender. Torrey Craig regressed as the overall player last season, and Bobby Portis is a much better offensive player than Robin Lopez is, but Lopez is a better defender. The major X factor for the Bucks this season will be Dante DiVincenzo, the former first round pick. The 23 year old will step into the starting two guard role after Wesley Matthews opted out of his contract and signed with the Lakers this offseason. DiVincenzo really showed his versatility in the second year compared to his rookie year where he really never got a chance. He averaged around 9 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 steal per game in 23 minutes. He's a player that can impact multiple facets of the game from scoring, playmaking, rebounding, and playing good defense. After almost getting traded to Sacramento this offseason, that should give him even more motivation to prove to the Bucks that he's the better option for the team in the present and the future. Having another player who is smart and can handle the ball would take pressure away from Giannis. I believe less is more when it comes to Giannis. Having his teammates take more of the responsibility in scoring and ball handling could put Giannis in a better position later in the season and in the playoffs. The Bucks will have another great regular season, similar to what they have done in the last two years. Even though the East has gotten better, the Bucks will still have the best record in the Eastern Conference. I have the Bucks finishing with the first seed with a 53-19 record. Regular season success means nothing for the Milwaukee Bucks. The true test for this team will be in the playoffs. No matter how great Giannis, Drew Holiday, and Middleton is in the regular season, most NBA fans won't be convinced that the Bucks are the real deal until they prove it when it matters the most. Giannis' free throw shooting and Drew Holiday's versatility could be the key factors in the Milwaukee Bucks finally making it to the NBA Finals.